So we are ready for World uh, World Series action, Game 1. By the way, uh, everybody is all in on the Houston Astros. The Astros have been installed as the heavy favorites over the Nats. Uh, they open at minus 235. At minus 235, the Astros will be the largest favorites entering the World Series since the 07 Red Sox were minus 240 to beat the Rockies. And I think that was a four-game sweep. Was that a four-game sweep by the Red Sox? Yeah, it was. So I don't think this is going to be a four-game sweep because I think right now you could make the argument, which sounds crazy, that actually the better starting pitching is in Washington than it is in, in Houston. Uh, I, I probably won't make that argument, but it's right there. I, I mean, I, listen, I, I'm with you. Verlander's I mean, been touched the, up a little bit. Zach granky has been touched Scherzer up a little bit. Scherzer against Cole and then Strasburg yeah. against Verlander. I mean, Can't get on. any better. I mean, it, it's by far, again, because this is where we are in a sport of playing, the richest rotation we're going to see. Yeah. In the World Series, the the net worth <laughs> of the well, starting pitchers. And I mean, is if you factor incredible. in the future net worth yeah. of Garrett Cole with whatever yeah. he picked oh, up this offseason, yeah. yeah, probably with another team, unfortunately. But yeah, what, we get what Strasburg a, and Patrick Corbin. I mean, what, it's good. What a game uh, Friday it was. Uh, DJ LeMay, who gets that two run shot in the ninth to tie it up, and then Jose Altuve with, with many people saying, "Do you walk him with a man on? You you putting him on? Uh, why are you throwing to Araldus Chapman throwing an 84 mile an hour slider? You know, instead of the heat. There's so many questions that came about it for the Yankees. Aaron Judge, I believe it was Aaron Judge calling the season a failure. Which, listen, you know, when when you're the Yankees and when you're who you are, even though all the injuries they had, they got it together. They were right where they wanted to be. Yeah, and they didn't get where they needed to be. Judge is right, and that's exactly. Nothing is going to help Yankees fans right now, but that's the only answer that you can give as yeah. a New York Yankee because you understand the standard of that franchise is championship or bust. Nothing else matters. No amount of excuses for the regular season will matter as far as how injured you were or how long it took or who was out You know, with uh, Giancarlo Stanton not being a factor because of that quad lately. None of that's going to matter because you were still at this point. You were still right, in a series right. that you had a chance to win. And all people are going to remember is you coming up short, especially in that moment. Like you said, Araldus Chapman on the mound. You expect something to come up there. But like they had done really all series, they came up with clutch hitting by way of the home run for the Houston Astros. So you, you look at, again, for the Yankees, I mean, you, we said Garrett Cole's going to be a free agent. Strasburg can opt out of his deal. Everybody expecting Garrett Cole uh, to end up on the West Coast. He's a West Coast guy, Strasburg. You know, you don't know, but you know the Yankees have the money. Will they go get it? And they need a big time uh, starting pitcher. So what will they do in the offseason? And as far as these two teams, you had that great view again when Aaron Judge was at second base and Altuve was talking to him. Oh man, just yeah. the size yeah. difference oh. of those two guys, and then the the little mighty man Jose Altuve with the two run blast. What a feeling that has to be. I mean, that's one of those things you do when you're a kid. Sure. When you throw that uh, touchdown, you catch that touchdown, you hit that 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 uh, game winning shot, or uh, in basketball, or you hit that walk off home run to either win the World Series or, in this case, send your team to the World Series. What little kid doesn't dream of doing that? And Jose Altuve has done it. We sort of got two of those moments this year yeah. already, right? We, we had Kawhi Leonard's bucket in Game right. 7 that got them. That was, the semi, the, that was in the semis, but it got them to the conference finals, which was very cool. And you had Altuve doing this. And, and so, like, the Yankees did win 10 years ago, the 2009 uh, World Series. But if you're thinking, well, that's a long time, you're right. The the twenty tens the the twenty tens however you want to call it I don't know what they're the first decade since the nineteen tens that the Yankees did not make at least one World Series I mean that's that's the expectation here in New York I mean when you got twenty seven of these bad boys it's like yeah we'll, we'll win at least one a decade they didn't even go for the first time since nineteen tens and it wasn't like they were pedestrian either no. this was a team that was great that won over a hundred games this season that was mashing home run records that seemed built to play this modern style of baseball that was so boom or bust. And now it's all gone because Jose Altuve decided to send one to the freaking moon and someone on the internet decided to dub it to game over by Lil Flip and now I can die happy. <laughs> That's very, very <laughs> Oh, what a weekend. We're so glad you're watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, make sure you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.